It's Super Saturday. Welcome to Saturday, the 9th of May, 2020. Craig Robert here with you, live and exclusive from the isolation booth. Well, it's not really an isolation booth anymore because I was cleared, as you saw yesterday. Last night, straight down to Melissa's place at Werribee uh, to hug my little Ivy. You've got no idea how excited she was to see me last night. Unbelievable. And then Melissa and I came back here to Bayswater and we had a very relaxing night. Uh, as I said to you yesterday, had the um, appointment yesterday with the surgeon and the speech therapist. And uh, what they both think that my problem was with the voice, uh, as I said to you, that uh, acid from the stomach during the day, and, and particularly overnight, is getting up and dripping down onto my vocal cords. And of course, it's acid, so it's inflaming the cords and then causing me to have to clear my throat all the time um, as it tries to um, as it tries to um, you know clear them so they wanted me to just start on gaviscon having gaviscon four times a day keep the acid in the stomach and so i started that yesterday have it before i go to bed so there's no nocturnal uh, reflux and i have to say to you that the morning is normally the worst time for that throat clearing and whatever. <coughs> That's a cough. Don't worry about the cough. Um, and um, here I am. Uh, it feels... Oh, and it doesn't feel any different. Uh, but I'm not clearing my voice. So maybe they might have um, found the solution uh, all these years that I've had that. So anyway, um, good news. Now, I want to talk to you about the coronavirus. Now, I know you're sick of it, but just let me uh, talk to you uh, about this. So, because uh, they're just, I found these statistics interesting. So worldwide, there have been 3.93 million cases. 1.31 million people have recovered and there have been two, nearly 274,000 deaths from coronavirus. Now, let me give you the breakdown. So the United States are leading the um, death tally. Not that that's anything to be proud of, but that's... So they have had, as at yesterday, 271 thousand deaths. Second country on the list is... Oh, hang on. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Scrub that, scrub that, scrub that. The USA have had 70, nearly 78,000 deaths. The United Kingdom, Leslie, Sarah Raymond, stay inside, don't go out. 30,000 deaths. Italy, nearly 30,000 deaths, Spain, 26,000, France, nearly 26,000, Brazil, 9,000, Belgium, 8,000, Germany, 7,000, Iran, 6,500, the Netherlands, 5,300. See, China... Wuhan province, where this the breakout allegedly, uh, allegedly uh, was. Um, sorry, I've lost my spot. China, 4,600. Canada, 4,400. Turkey, 3,600. And interesting, uh, where is Australia... Australia, 97 deaths. Who's got the least number of deaths? God, there's some countries listed here that uh, I've not even heard of. Um, 
So Brunei, one death. French Guana, never heard of that. Liechtenstein, one. Cayman Islands, Botswana, Gambia, Caraco, Burundi. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so there's the tally. Ethiopia, uh, four deaths. That'll be the worry when this when this virus gets into those sort of third world countries. Uh, phew, is it going to wreak some damage there? But I found some other information that I um, wanted to share with you. So nearly 274 million deaths already in a very short space of time from corona. But let me just tell you some statistics from uh, other pandemics that we've had worldwide. So HIV or AIDS uh, at its peak between 2005 and 2012, 36 million deaths worldwide. The flu pandemic in 1968, the year I was born, 1 million deaths in that year. The Asian flu, 1956 to 1958, 2 million deaths. Now, you might be saying, Craig, this is a long time ago. Think the times have changed. Well, times have changed medically. However, social interaction has not changed and the transmission process hasn't changed. The flu pandemic in 1918... Uh, 50 million people worldwide. Uh, 1910 to 1911 was was the sixth cholera pandemic. (coughs) Excuse me. 800,000. Flu pandemic. Uh, 1890, a million deaths. Uh, And now I'm going back. Wow, the Black Death, now this is in the year 1346 to 1353, so we are going back a few years, Um, 200, the bubonic plague, 200 million deaths worldwide, the plague of Justinian, now this was BC, year 541 to 542, again, bubonic plague, 25 million. Uh, So that was AD um, 542. And the Antonine plague, 165 AD, 5 million worldwide. I don't know how they have... um, all these statistics from so long ago. So I just thought I would bring you that because uh, I found it interesting. And um, uh, in reading that this morning, and uh, let me tell you, uh, and I know you're all clever people, you will figure this out. Uh, Everything, um, governments in Australia are about to open up uh, or ease social distancing. I think the language is very important here. Um, So, uh, just watch. We are, as everybody comes out of isolation and starts mingling, well then of course we know, uh, I'm going to be very, very interested to see Uh, what the transmission rates are like. Because we're Aussies, everybody is so sick and tired of being cooped up at home. As soon as Monday, which I think the Premier will announce on Monday, you know, so cafes can open, but you can only have, is it 10 people or something (coughs) in your business, Uh, then I'll be really interested to see. Uh, A friend of mine, a professor of medicine, good friend of mine whom I talk to daily. He used to be, so Brett Sutton 
is the uh, Chief Health Officer. Uh, and this gentleman, I won't use his name, was in that position years ago. And uh, he is not painting a pretty picture of what is ahead of us. So there you have it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you earlier, I just thought I'd put a new microphone on for today. This is the Samson microphone. And I don't think I have actually ever used it before. So there you have it. Now, look at that. I've got through this whole presentation and haven't even cleared my throat once, apart from the uh, coughing. But that cough, I don't know what that's from. Anyway, uh, I'll be talking to Melissa. We'll be doing a video later today and bringing that to you because I wanted Melissa to talk to you about motor neurone disease, which her husband died from last year, Andrew. And uh, so we're going to talk about uh, that with you a little bit later. Neil Danaher, you know, that's the, the same disease. Um, and so we'll talk to you about that later. Mother's Day is coming up tomorrow, and that is exciting as well. So in the meantime, have a good Saturday. Remember... Nice to be important, important to be nice. Keep smiling and bye for now.